from Sterlington, Louisiana. AJ asked, do you think an eight-game playoff is a better format? Well, AJ, I don't think any expanded playoff is a better format. But in the world we're in right now, in the 12 team, well, the world we will be in. The world we will be in is 12 teams, six auto bids for the highest ranked conference champs, and six at larges. Sure, I'd take eight. I'd take anything that's smaller than 12. But what is the eight? Because even when we talk about this, there's a lot of disagreement. If we had an eight-team playoff, should it be the five Power Five conference champs and three at-larges? Should it be five Power Five champs, one G5 spot, and two at-larges? I'm not for any of that. I don't like auto bids at all. I don't believe in them. So any playoff field, I think, should just be the top fill-in-the-blank number of teams, six, eight, 12, 100, however big your playoff is. Just give me the top teams. I get disagreement on that from people who say, well, you've got to make conference championship games matter. They always did. We did a segment a couple of weeks ago about the Florida versus Alabama 2008-2009 SEC title games, and I was talking about how I thought that was as big as college football has ever felt to me. Uh, back in... I think it was 09. It may have been that same season, 09. Remember, Texas played Nebraska. Indomitian Sioux was at Nebraska. And Texas barely squeaked by in that Big 12 championship game. Uh, we had the 07 season where Oklahoma beats Missouri in the Big 12 championship game. That keeps them out of the BCS title game. W when are you telling me conference title games didn't matter? No, you screwed that up when you went to the expanded playoff and one of the very predictable ramifications was, uh-oh, people care about conference title games less now. Well, how do we manufacture people caring again? Oh, we'll just expand the playoff more and we'll make you win your conference if you're going to have a top six seed. Well, that's lame because not all conferences are created equal. And if we're in a tournament where we're just trying to decide the best teams in the country and the field is 12, not one, the field is 12, it's possible for two or three or four of the best teams in the country any given year to reside in the same conference, to reside in the same division of the same conference. And so anyone who said, well, you shouldn't be in the top six if you can't even win your own conference, that's garbage. That's complete garbage. It's a manufactured system to try and manufacture people caring about conference title games. Well, that used to not be a problem. So, so now what we want, more of, more of the problem to clean up the problem? Whatever. Uh, but as for the question, yeah, I'd love it. If you wanted playoff expansion, you know what I was on board with? I didn't want to expand it. But if you wanted to expand it, I thought a six-team playoff with the first two getting buys, I thought that would have been fun because that would incentivize, obviously, locking down a top seed. It would have given you your precious expansion. It would have given you the concept of having a first-round buy, and you could have had first-round games on campus. I thought that would have checked all the boxes, but nope, we couldn't do that because it didn't guarantee enough seats at the table for underachieving conferences eroding more and more by the day to have a guaranteed spot there. It shouldn't be on me to guarantee you anything. Go earn your way in. How about that? That's, that's why I cannot be on the playoff committee because I'm too real about this stuff and I am not for manufacturing a little sandcastle where everyone's got a room and it doesn't matter how bad you suck during the year. Someone deserves a chance from your conference. No, they don't. No, they do not. In the JP playoff, at least. In the real world playoff, I guess they do.